breakfast. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Welcome to yet another riveting episode of 3 Minute Critics. I'm Eric. I'm Tony. And today, we're going to be reviewing Joker. Mm -hmm. Rated R. Starring the amazing, amazing. Joaquin Phoenix. Fantastic. And directed by Todd Phillips. And the story is set in Gotham City, and a mentally troubled comedian Arthur Fleck is disregarded and completely mistreated by society. He then embarks on a downward spiral, revolution, and bloody crime. And this path, it brings him face to face with his alter ego, mm. the Joker. Mm. So mm. we're going to go ahead and put three minutes on the clock. And Beep. Tony, what did you think of Joker? This is a superhero film like I have never seen. It's a superhero film that's not a like superhero never film. never made, right. Yeah. And Joker is a superhero villain in a way that we have never seen. It's, if, if, if you've seen a superhero movie before, just get ready for something completely different and in an amazing way. Let and me thanks start... to all of oh, the yeah. elements. All Joaquin, Todd, and the score. Joaquin, what did you think? A, a, just a performance for the ages, and I'm not overselling that. This is, is, is a, a performance that is just riveting from top to bottom. Mm -hmm. You believe every bit of the... Mm -hmm. Uh, of the, the mm -hmm. anguish and the trouble that uh, uh, Joaquin Phoenix's mm -hmm. character as Arthur Fleck goes through. Too. And it's interesting because he is, uh, you know, he's, he's disturbed. There's, there's, he's got, a, you know, ton of issues, subscriptions <laughs> he's maybe got, even. He's got issues. Uh, but he's a comedian. Yes. And so... Oh, right, uh, yes. Well, he plays as a stand-up comedian, which I think was basic, basically based on one of the um, graphic novels. Yes. From the yes. 80s, which is kind of how they took this backstory. Mm -hmm. And it plays really well. They do a great it job. It really does, beautifully. One thing that he does that Joaquin does in this film is, is his laugh. All the jokers have their signature laugh. Yes. Oh, and Joaquin's... And almost always bother me. I almost Joaquin's always... Joaquin's didn't. It annoyed. felt like it was part of him. Yeah. Like he was made and for this role. And was maybe the most over the top of all of them. Oh, it was, it was striking at and all times. And still didn't... It felt organic. I would completely and agree with you. It was amazing. He did such a phenomenal job connecting with this character. Great, great storyline here. I just got to say, the story arc, I mean, from beginning to end, you are just pulled in, at least yeah, I, I was, by this that. film. The story arc was it, it, There was good. never a dull moment. Uh, there were some great twists and turns in this. And I got to say, the score by oh, Hilder yeah. Guendotter. That's not horrible. I think that I got that pretty, pretty good well. Pronunciation. H Hilder Guendotter. It was a great score. Great score. And, and a, Dark. And a, and a, a, different. A, a different because there were points in it where there would be an uplifting tune during a very dark moment and vice versa, yeah. which was... Uh, yeah, they did really nice juxtapositioning of, of things it with really, the music and the, and the scenes. It really mixed it up in a way that I thought was uh, very different from what you normally see in here. Todd Phillips. It felt like Todd Phillips was really interacting in an organic way with... Um, with Joaquin, yes, and that I it was agree. almost a, a sort of off the cuff improvisational at times, and it just really an amazing. What job. did you think of Robert De Niro's uh, you know, role in this? For me, it was one of the only things in this film that was a bit really? of a detractor. See, I mean, I felt like he's just not that gonna, type. He's not a late night talk show host. It just, I didn't although he it. interestingly he's played some roles that were semi similar to this. Yeah, he has. And I gotta say, I'll, I'll disagree a little bit there. I think he pl he underplayed it in a great way. So he, he did. just he did. I thought just I didn't enough, hate it. No, I, I thought he did it. just enough to really sell that point and mm -hmm. sell his character without mm -hmm. taking anything away from Joaquin Phoenix's amazing right, uh, performance. performance. And not to mention all the stuff. <laughs> oh, well, we, there's nothing that we want to talk about more than the joke. <laughs> right, but I have to mention have to that uh, there is no joke that the horn has gone off, and that means we are. Out of time. Nice. So now we have to rate this. Yes, we do. On our five-star rating system. <laughs> Which, that looks more like two five stars. Five-star rating. Eric, what, uh, what did you give the Joker? I, I love everything about this film. I love mm. the writing. I love the cinematography. Mm. I love the score. Mm. I love the acting by Joaquin Phoenix and all the supporting cast. Everybody in this fantastic... I go top of the heap on this. I'm, I five really? stars. Whoa. Five stars. A five star wow. review. I five stars. one of my favorite films wow. in maybe the last six seven years. Well, I will what say. What do you think, Tony? I agree almost entirely. It was a phenomenal film. The performances were incredible, especially mm -hmm. of course Joaquin. Unbelievable, so. but and everyone. I mean, it mm -hmm. was beautifully, masterfully directed. Masterful. But I just didn't get a little niche, titch, <laughs> skitch. Flitch? Flitch? Snitch? Yeah, down. I don't know what it is, but it's a little less than Eric. I'm going to go with four and a half stars. But that's still fantastic. For a fantastic movie. Fantastic film. And we would like to talk even more about it, but we are simply out of time. Simply. But 
Stick around for more episodes. You can subscribe up here and check out more movie reviews coming soon. But uh, for now, we're going to sign off. We'll see you next time on 3 Minute, Minute Critics. Critics. Thanks, y'all.